Now let's start getting dynamic with our edit. We're going to add a little bit of movement into these images to re-engage our audience. So all we need to do is select the image that we're going to start manipulating, head to the beginning, and we're gonna add keyframes by hitting this toggle animation, and you'll see we have two keyframes created here. You can hit the down arrow, and it'll scroll to the last frame of our image and just go left one just to so you can preview where we headed and we're going to zoom in to our image and we can move it a little bit up. And this is called the Ken Burns effect. So it kind of leans you into it and entices you into the image. So let's have a look at that. Now you don't want it to be too much, so that's a bit fast. So we can go back in here, select the keyframe, and remove that. We just want it to be a little bit more subtle. So let's go to around 46, 45. And let's preview that. It's still a little bit fast. So let's remove that. Now you just have to do this by feel. Let's go to 39 and let's play that out. That's a lot better. So you can feel like it's moving in there. You don't want it to be too abrupt. What I'm gonna do for this one, just to test it out, is drag that out. And we're gonna start zoomed in on this image and zoom out. So let's go to the end to start. Put in those keyframes by toggling that animation. Up arrow to go to the start. And we're gonna zoom in, let's go to 55. And let's watch that back. And you can see how that smooth, slow movement is really, really getting you engaged and it adds so much more to the image. So let's add it to that first screenshot that we added of our YouTube analytics. We're going to add a zoom in. So let's go to the start and we're gonna add those keyframes, toggle that animation. You can see the two keyframes have been created. Down arrow to get to the end and one back. Now it's hard when this additive dissolves here, you can't really see what it's doing. So let's just go a few frames back so we can see what we are zooming into. And all we wanna do is just zoom in a little bit and we actually want to zoom into this 2.8 million to kind of pull focus onto there. So I'm gonna start moving that a little bit across so it kind of draws us into there. And then what I want to do is pull those keyframes to the end where this additive dissolve is. So all we need to do is grab those keyframes, drag them to the end there, and that'll just give us a bit more space breathing room to zoom. Let's check how that looks. That's really cool. So we're drawing people into that figure of the views and the text is also emphasizing exactly how that Ken Burns effect is working. And that's a great way to make the images that you add as B-roll a lot more dynamic inside of your edit.